The Antarctic flora is a distinct community of vascular plants which evolved millions of years ago on the supercontinent of Gondwana, and is now found on several separate areas of the southern hemisphere, including southern South America, southernmost Africa, New Zealand, Australia and New Caledonia. The similarities in the floras of distant places in the southern hemisphere were first noticed by Joseph Dalton Hooker who speculated that Antarctica had served as either a source or a transitional point, and that land masses now separated may have formerly been adjacent. Based on the similarities in the flora, botanist Ronald Doyle Good identified a separate Antarctic floristic kingdom that included southern South America, New Zealand, and some southern island groups. Good identified Australia as its own floristic kingdom and included New Guinea and New Caledonia in the Paleotropical Floristic Kingdom. Because of the influx of tropical Eurasian flora that had mostly supplanted the Antarctic flora, millions of years ago Antarctica was warmer and much wetter, and supported the Antarctic flora, including forests of podocarps and southern beach. Antarctica was also part of the ancient supercontinent of Gondwana, which gradually broke up by plate tectonics starting 110 million years ago. The separation of South America from Antarctica 30 minus 35 million years ago allowed the Antarctic circumpolar current to form, which isolated Antarctica climatically and caused it to become much colder. The Antarctic flora subsequently died out in Antarctica, but is still an important component of the flora of southern Neotropic and Australia. Australasia, which were also former parts of Gondwana. Some genera which originated in Antarctic flora are still recognized as major components of New Caledonia, Tasmania, Madagascar, India, New Zealand, and Southern South America, South America, Madagascar, Africa, India, Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica were all part of the supercontinent Gondwana, which started to break up in the early Cretaceous period. India was the first to break away, followed by Africa, and then New Zealand, which started to drift north. By the end of the Cretaceous, South America and Australia were still joined to Antarctica. Paleontologist Gilbert Brenner identified the emergence of a distinct southern Gondwanan flora by the late Cretaceous period in the cooler and humid southern hemisphere regions of Australia, southern South America, southern Africa, Antarctica, and New Zealand. It most resembled the flora of modern-day southern New Zealand. A dry northern Gondwanan flora had developed in northern South America and northern Africa. Africa and India drifted north into the tropical latitudes, became hotter and drier, and ultimately connected with the Eurasian continent. And today the flora of Africa and India have few remnants of the Antarctic flora. Australia drifted north and became drier as well. The humid Antarctic flora retreated to the east coast and Tasmania, while the rest of Australia became dominated by acacia, eucalyptus, and cassuariana, as well as xeric shrubs and grasses. Humans arrived in Australia 50 minus 60,000 years ago, and used fire to reshape the vegetation of the continent. As a result, the Antarctic flora, also known as the rainforest flora in Australia, retreated to a few isolated areas compared Composing less than 2% of Australia's land area. The woody plants of the Antarctic flora include conifers in the families Podocarpaceae, Aracariaceae, and the subfamily Calatroidae of Cupressaceae, and angiosperms such as the families Proteaceae, Griselineaceae, Cunoniaceae. 
Atherospermaticeae, and Winteraceae, and genera like southern beech and fuchsia, many other families of flowering plants and ferns, including the tree fern Dixonia, a characteristic of the Antarctic flora, flora of Antarctica. Investigations of Upper Cretaceous and Early Tertiary sediments of Antarctica yield a rich assemblage of well-preserved fossil dicotyledonous angiosperm wood which provides evidence for the existence, since the late Cretaceous, of temperate forests similar in composition to those found in present-day southern South America, New Zealand and Australia. It is suggested a paleobotanical habitat similar to the extant cool temperate Valdivian rainforests. There are two conifer and at least seven angiosperm or phototypes recorded in the Antarctic paleoflora. Conifers include Cupressinox alongoapit, which is the more common, and Podocarpox alongothan. The angiosperm component includes two species of Nothophagoxalon, one species of Mycergenoloxalon, and one species of Wynemanioxalon. Two other species are assigned to genera Hedicarioxalon and Atherospermoxalon Atherospermaticeae. The continent of Antarctica itself has been too cold and dry to support virtually any vascular plants for millions of years. The chilling temperature, lack of sunlight, little rainfall, inferior soil quality and lack of moisture moisture account, due to the inability of the plants to absorb water available in the form of ice, for scanty vegetation. Its extant flora presently consists of around 250 lichens, 100 mosses, 25 to 30 liverworts, and around 700 terrestrial and aquatic algal species. Two flowering plants, Deschampsia antarctica and Colobanthus quitensis, are found on the northern and western parts of the Antarctic Peninsula. Species of moss endemic to Antarctica include Grimia antarctici, Schistodium antarctici, and Sarconurum glacial.